good yeah. size. It's a good size. Like, don't ask the dimensions. Just good. know that it's a good size. We're probably green at some point. We're green, but they still look good. What is going on? Okay. So you've been ready to move to St. George, Utah for quite some time now, but these high rates and high purchase prices are keeping you away. If that is the case, you may want to stick around and watch this video until the very end, because in today's video, we're going to take you on a tour of one of the newest Southern Utah communities right here in Long Valley by one of the builders that brings the prices as well as the rates to an affordable price point. So you too may be able to jump into this market and lock in your price while you still can. Some of these homes will start as low as low 300s with mortgage rates that are bought down by the builder as low as 4.99%. If you feel that this is something that may make this dream a possibility for you, just stick around. We'll show you everything there is to see right here in Lawn Valley. Let's talk a little bit about the community and what it has to offer before we get into touring some homes. So you'll never believe the cost of the HOA to have all of these amenities. So there is a family pool, as you see over here, there is a lap pool, clubhouse. There's actually two huge banquet rooms that you can reserve for parties or for anything like that. There is a splash pad, playgrounds, terra parks, sports court and putting green. There is a bike park, endless walking trails that cover the entire community, pavilions, fire pits, pickleball courts. There is a huge movie lawn that they'll do movies in the park. There's cornhole, you name it. This is the Mecca of amenities and all yours for $45 a month. That's right, you heard me. $45 a month to have all of these amenities, which is insane. I, I can say that this is the most amenities you can get for that great of a price. Now it's 45 if you get one of their single family homes. If you get into a town home, the HOA is what, is it 110? It's it's 110, just because the town home, the HOA is going to cover- It's going to cover exterior building insurance, building insurance which is a pretty substantial cost yeah. normally. And common area maintenance. So the town homes are a little bit more, but for all of your single family homes, your $45 a month, but even the, the town homes, they have access to all these amenities as well. That's awesome. Let's go check some of these homes out. Let's go check them out. All right, we're going to start with our first one. Sorry if I'm like super squinty. I forgot my sunglasses. So I'm trying not to stare directly at the sun. The first one we're gonna check out is called the Dumont. This is their town home that starts in the mid threes. There are some on the market for in the 330s. Only five left to be exact. So there's five left of this modern exterior look that they have, and then they're gonna change the exterior look of them. They will continue to have more townhomes available. So let's come check this one out. This one is 488 square feet on the first floor, 804 square feet on the second floor. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage, two story. Total square footage is 1292. So all of your bedrooms are going to be upstairs? Yes, but it's nice because the homes that we're gonna to be touring are furnished, so it kind of gives you a good idea of space and what you can do with the space. There are no currently selections. So if you were to build a brand new home, you're not able to pick out selections, so they're just sold at spec as is. So there are currently no selections. They're just sold as spec homes or sold as is, but they do have a designer that selects all their colors and finishes and they do a great job. Here's the kitchen. There's a for, oh, and it's gas, so that's nice. Four burner gas stove, Whirlpool appliances, your sink, dishwasher. We've got under the stairs, storage under here, our pantry right here. And so the home is facing this way and then the garage is actually in the back of the home. So this is where you'll be entering most of the time. Just got our two car garage. The golf carts always make these things look huge, but it's a pretty good size two car garage. Yeah. Okay. And then it looks like this is probably just a coat closet, cleaning closet. Check out the upstairs. And there's another shot of your living room. Okay. 
beautiful. They always have the cutest decor that you're like, can I just buy it as is? Like I wanna decorate it exactly the same. So it looks like we've got our washer and dryer laundry set right here. It's like a closet style. Nice, deep storage closet. Which by the way, if you're gonna buy a townhome, having extra closets is so important. Yeah, you like, you run out of storage quick. Like you can't just shove it all in your garage. So it's nice to have the space. So it looks like this is the primary bedroom and you've got some pretty cool views from here. And the five that they have left before they start, you know, this is if you want the modern exterior look. Um, they have some pretty good views from there. There is a nice um, walk-in closet. It's actually huge. And your, your closet is separate from the bath here. Yep. Nice. And it has a window. You have some natural light. Okay, let's go check out the bathroom. Hold on, let's check out the primary bath real quick. Got a shower, tub, combo, your vanity. Single vanity. And the door is off. They took it off just to make it easy. It's kind of nice that in these models, they take the doors off so you don't have to like pop them open all the time. Yeah. And then we've got two bedrooms here and then here's our full bathroom for these bedrooms. So we've got another full bath. Bedroom number two. Got a little nook area with a window and then a good sized closet right here. There should be, I feel like in realtor lingo, lingo there should be like dimensions for term good size closet. Good view. size, it's a good size. Like don't ask the dimensions, just know size. that it's a good size. Oh, this is cute. A little nursery. So yeah, as you can see, this is there's the front of the homes and, and then that middle. that's the alley that yeah. the rear of the property backs up to. So you don't really get a backyard of any kind, but it is a pretty compact, minimalistic living. And at 4.99% to get into one of these and the low threes, that's that's a great deal. Yeah, I would say so. Well, and especially all the amenities for right. $45. I mean, these are, these are 110 for the... Right, but that also covers your uh, shell insurance. So your insurance coverage for this would be pretty minimal. And by the way, if you guys are wondering about like the dollars and cents, the cost to get into one of these, just give us a call. We have great contacts for insurance. We have great contacts and, and ways to find out what your taxes are gonna look like. And we have a great relationship with DR Horton and several of their sales reps. So we could get you an update on their current pricing, their current lender incentives. All of that stuff changes all the time. And just so you know, DR Horton does not give you any better pricing if you go directly to the builder or to their sales rep. You'll pay the exact same calling us and having us help negotiate the best price for you opposed to calling them. They were telling us there's no benefit to going to them directly. So give us a call. We will do our best to negotiate the best pricing for you. Exactly. Well, I'm really, really excited for this next one. Let's go check it out. Friends, I'm really excited to talk to you about both of these plans, Cali and Black Rock, right? Uh -huh. um, just because of the price point, both of these plans are priced so well. And I think they're for a single family home anywhere around St. George, this is a great price point. Now, before we go in, I also wanted to touch a little bit on location. So Long Valley is located off of Long Valley exit from SR7. We are about five minutes away from San Jalo, about 10 minutes away from Costco, about 15 minutes away from downtown St. George. You're a little bit off the beaten path here. And that's partly what gives you access to these incredible price points on these single family homes. Oh, and we are on Dixie Power over here. And you are on Dixie Power. So you're gonna be saving money on power. You're gonna be saving money on your interest rates the saving money on the purchase price. What more do you need? Other thing that I wanted to cover about these homes is this builder gives you several smart features that are built into the home, like smart locks, smart doorbells, Amazon Echo, smart light switches. Thermostat, the garage smart thermostat, door. Smart garage door opener. So we're currently inside of Cali. It is a four bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage plan. It has a total of 1,709 square feet. 
And as we walk in down this hallway, we'll, we'll kind of go and work our way backwards. I just want to show you guys the living space. And this particular model has some pretty cool views of the desert cliffs and the, you can see a little bit of links at San Hollow, the golf course right there in the distance. But let's talk a little bit about this space first. So you've got an open floor plan. The living room kind of steps out a little bit from the kitchen and it gives you plenty of room for a couch, a couple of chairs, a coffee table. And as Michonne makes her way around, let's now focus on this side of the room. You have a really good sized center island and all of the features and all the including, including the smart features that we talked about, they are standard. So if you build with the R. Horton, you don't have to worry about any of your final selections. They have designers that select everything and everything is standard. So nothing is an upgrade. What you see in this model home is pretty much what you would get in any of their existing standing inventory or if you decided to build something new. You got Whirlpool appliances, four burner gas cooktop. This plan has a Pretty good size pantry. Are the cabinets soft close? Let's see. Oh yeah, the drawers are soft close. I just recently showed a home that did not have soft close cabinets to my surprise. But soft close cabinets, soft close drawers, which is huge in my book. You have a nice slider out here just outside of your dining that takes you out back. The backyard is finished with artificial turf. I don't know if this is just for the model. We'll have to double check, but I do believe they finished their backyards. So again, decent size for a living room and your primary bedroom is right off your living room. I love all of the finishes that their interior designer selected because I feel like it really puts things in perspective. So here we have, this looks like a queen. Mm -hmm, it does. But I do feel like you could still fit yeah, a king can. in this room. The queen just makes the room look a little bit bigger. So full transparency, just so you guys know, uh, the room is a little bit on the smaller side, but if you put a king in here, you'd still have room. Primary bath has similar LVP flooring that flows throughout the entire home. Here we have a dual vanity with some nice built-ins directly across. Right behind me, you have a step-in shower with a glass door, which is pretty cool. Water closet that way. And then your closet closet right over here. Appropriate space for a home this size. Let's go back towards the front of the property and check out all of the guest bedrooms. As we make our way down this hallway, we'll just kind of start from here and work our way backwards. Laundry that takes you into the garage. And either Cali or Blackrock can be built with a three car garage. It does add a little bit onto the cost and it would move your cost closer into the 600s. But this is what a standard two car garage looks like. No, wait, I don't know if these come with three car. I know the next They can. They can? Yeah, they absolutely can. So you've got room in a laundry room for a side-by-side -side washer and dryer directly across. You have your utility closet with the water heater and the furnace. There is a bypass loop for a water softener, which I would highly recommend if you plan on living anywhere in Southern Utah. So this room is currently used as a small office. It's not overwhelming in size, but it's a good spare room for an office or maybe a kid's bedroom. Good size closet. It's good size, trust me. That's our favorite. It's good size, trust me. Good size. This is a linen closet, or being that close to the kitchen, this could become an overflow pantry, depending on how obsessed with food you are. We are obsessed with food. <laughs> so as we, we're right here is, we're right off the front door. So the front door is right there. And then we've got two bedrooms and a bathroom that's shared by these two bedrooms right here. Let's start with this bedroom. It currently has two full beds, walk-in closet, right in the middle. And I'll let you just pop in there without me. That is your tub shower combo bath, which is perfect if you've got kids or pets. It's nice having a tub. A lot of these modern houses do not have a tub anymore because it's kind of becoming a thing of the past. A lot of people like the shower, but 
I feel like as a somebody that has both kids and pets, it's nice to have a top. Yeah, it's, it's much needed. All right, let's hop in next door and check out the Black Rock flags. Okay, next we're gonna go check out the Black Rock. This home is a three bed, three bathroom, two car, one story, and it is a total of 1630 square feet. I like the front elevation, it's pretty cool. Like modern looking, really simple lines. So we'll start in here and then we'll come work our way back in here. I like that it's nice and open. We've got our kitchen with a large center island, a single farmhouse big sink. I feel like single bay sink is a must. Like, how do you say it? It's a single bay. It's a, yeah, yeah it's whoever, a whoever uses a split sink. Yeah. You know? Well, so I was, prefer this because when you're washing like your big pots and pans, like everything fits. So. Especially one, when one half of your sink is shallow, whoever is still doing it, please stop. Well, I, one, in one video, I called it a single bay sink and you're like, what's a single bay sink? I'm like, that's what it's called. It's that's bay. what it is. Let's take a look. We've got the same big pantry. A nice, large window. This lets in lots of natural light, which we love. Our dining area and then family room. We didn't check out the backyard of the last house, so I wanted to just pop out there and take a look. Let's do that. Up to screen door. Cover patio. Oh, this is a pretty big backyard. Look at all the clean lines, easy maintenance. Here, we have turf here, so all you have to worry about is maybe a few weeds here and there in the near future. I'm a huge fan of the gray block wall too. I'm so glad that the builders finally started doing these gray block walls because for a while, these block walls used to be exclusively that reddish brick. And they all just blended in with the dirt. They blend in with the dirt and they don't match the lighter tones on the homes. Yeah. So this is cool. Yeah, this is like a cool shaped lot and you've got and anybody, anybody that's saying, you know, when are you gonna run out of water, take a look at that. We've got artificial turf, desert plants, consume minimal amount of water. We're not running out of water anytime soon. If I just walked in one of these model homes, I'd be like, I would just want it the way it is. It's so cute. Okay, so we haven't even walked through this plan all the way, so we don't know what we're getting into. Let's go check it out. What do we have down? This hall, so we have a full bathroom right here. So take a look in there. In there real quick. So you've got a single sink vanity and a tub shower combo. Laundry room. Side by side washer and dryer. First bedroom. How many square feet is this plan? 1600, right? Yeah, 1630. Oh, wow. so it's actually smaller than the one that we just toured. Again, a good size closet. Okay. That's right here. Linen closet. Second bedroom. Wait, the last home, was that a three or four bed? I have it right here in my hand. So the first home, the Cali, is a four bedroom, two bath, 1709 square feet. And this one is a three bed, three bath, 1630 square feet. That's why it feels more spacious. Instead of having an extra bedroom and an extra 100 square feet, we just have a whole lot more square footage to go around amongst the bedrooms. So there's three full bathrooms in this one. That's also a very nice touch. So we're in the primary right now. Yep. Double vanity. We've got the shower with the glass, water closet. I'll show you guys this shower. And then a really good, this is a good size. Okay, this is a good size. So is there a good size or is it a great size? A great size, walk-in closet, and this is a nice touch just to have. Yeah, that's like a nice extension. So like all of your towels, some of your decor. Okay, let's go find the last bedroom. I really like the way this plan flows too and like your 
Your entire living space out here is really nice and open. Yeah, I love it. So we just have our garage right here and the mud room. And this is again a two car that could potentially be a three for extra, of course. So again, these homes are high fours, low fives. And if you want more specific pricing, give us a call and we will let you know. And then here is a, our last bedroom. They're currently using it as an office. Could be a bedroom. It does have a walk-in closet. It's a good size, take a look. Those are cool looking shelves. Way cool. Oh, that's a good size closet. And then our third full bathroom. So every bedroom has its own bathroom, which is nice. I'm a huge fan of this plan. Yeah. Like sometimes when you have kind of a smaller home, smaller floor plan, it just doesn't flow as nice as this does, or you get a lot of hallway or not enough hallway. And look at this, this living room and kitchen looks nice and very spacious. And the, the exteriors on all of their plans like have different looks. We'll show you on the next one. So let's talk about some of their two story options. Now we know that it's all about looks and I feel like DR Horton is doing a really good job with kind of mixing in and sprinkling a little bit of Scandinavian modern or farmhouse looks. Those tend to be the most popular looks. This is a Scandinavian plan, but you could also have coral in modern or farmhouse look. This option can also come with an optional third car garage. I believe it does. We can, we can double check for sure. And it is a, a two story, three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage and the square footage breaks down to 862 square feet on a main floor, 1,356 square feet on a second floor, with a total of 2,218 square feet. Coral will also feature all of the standard smart inclusions like the smart locks, smart thermostat, smart light switches, smart garage door openers. And as soon as we walk into this home, this entry foyer area, uh, turns off to the staircase that takes you upstairs and this takes us into well it takes us into our powder We'll just kind of go in order and I'll show you guys super convenient to have a powder Well, first of all off your front door and your garage as well you have single vanity sink the pedestal sink rather and a throne right next to it directly across you have your two-car garage nice. It's one of those things that is sometimes tough to appreciate until you're just running home, if you know what I mean. Linen closet. That was actually a coat closet. Oh, and a massive under the staircase toy closet or whatever you want closet. We continue in this direction. living room kitchen area nice and open and this nice home has large windows i love that nice large windows that open to your finished backyard we'll we'll pop out there in just a second i want to show you guys how cool these minimalistic backyards look again interior designer did a great job with the core i feel like those palm leaves uh we're probably green at some point. What? They would not hang real green palm leaves on the wall. They look like they used to be green. I mean, they're no longer green, but they, they still look, like, look good. Yeah, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> you have a little corner pantry. This pantry is actually a little bit larger than the previous one that we just saw. Let's test the cabinets. Ooh, drawers are not soft clothes. Is that so? Yeah, no soft closed drawers in this home. Well, I'm no sure soft they can closed just cabinets either. It's just a matter of hardware. This particular home doesn't have yeah. soft clothes. And while we're on the negatives, it does have a split sink. 
But you know what? Some people might prefer that. Some people. And I actually think that those are from our tree. Yeah. I would like them back. <laughs> That's funny. So you've got a slider that opens into the backyard. You've got a little patio that you could barbecue on. And I really like what they did with this space because this backyard is not very large. You have a little bit of gravel, a little bit of artificial turf, some pavers if you wanted to set some outdoor patio furniture here. And that is it. That is, that is your kingdom. Let's head back inside. We've got upstairs to explore. Oh, and they do offer RV storage and um, parking. Yes. So one really neat thing about this community is if you know you're like, well, I've got an RV or I've got a boat or I've got a travel trailer, whatever it may be. What am I going to do with it? It looks like everything is pretty tight. DR Horton actually has RV storage within this community that is available to you. And we'll, we'll show you some of the B-roll of that. It's pretty neat. I don't believe they've com fully completed the parking pad, but they have it like available for you. Yeah, well, it's going to keep getting bigger. So as we go up these two flights of stairs, as soon as you get to the top, you've got one, two, two bedrooms to my right, which is where we will start. And they have another plan that that's coming to market instead of this closet right here and that being a bedroom. Open little area. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a giant loft. I think it's a lot more usable without the loft, Yeah. but it could all depend on your situation and your situation only. So give us a call, shoot us a text. We'll find a plan that is perfect for you and your family. So this upstairs bedroom, number one, that faces the rear of the property. North. North. Yeah. Comfortably accommodates a queen size bed. Has a this is not a pretty good, this is a really good size closet. Oh. Because it fits me. It accommodates room for one nick in here comfortably. Perfect. And it's like this is what I would refer to as a true walk-in closet. As we make a right. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's usually my line. The primary suite is actually like, look. Oh wow, it's huge. You've got all sorts of room for activity. Here we have a king size bed with generous amount of space to either side of that king size bed that accommodates these large oversized, I would say, uh, night tables and tables. Nightstands. You have room for two large chairs, a plant. I mean, really, they've done a good job decorating it and it really shows off how spacious this place is. Primary bath has a single vanity with a shower tub combo directly across. A water closet, a really good primary dressing. Me personally, I would probably rather have a walk-in shower, but I feel like this plan could be a little bit more family focused. So for instance, if you have a toddler, you would probably prefer to have a tub combo mm -hmm. and maybe you have another kid that's out of the toddler stages that bedroom would be perfect because it's like literally right next it's almost attached that could be a nursery as well i don't know just trying to think of a practical application where it would make more sense your um, upstairs utility closet that has your air handler hvac system bypass for the water softener and a water heater in here Your laundry room is also on this level, which is super convenient because all of your bedrooms are here. Right next to the laundry, we have another bedroom. This bedroom has a queen size bed in it and windows that open to the front of the property. Let's see the greatness level of this closet. It's a pretty good size closet. Mm -hmm. And we have one more bathroom. So it is a full bath that has a single sink vanity, some pretty cool looking wallpaper and a shower top combo. And we're down to our last bedroom that also faces the front of the property. Check out the size of this closet. This is a really good closet. Good job on this closet. Next, we are going to go check out that home. Let's go check it out.
And next, we're gonna go across the street and check out the Stillwater. This home is four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and you can either do a two car or a three car. Yeah, three car is gonna push you into the 600s, which is still pretty good for square footage. And without, it starts in the mid fives to high five. And of course, if you want to negotiate the best price possible, you would think that going directly to the builder is going to save you some money. That's what everybody thinks. And you would like naturally think that, but- And you would lose. And you will lose. And it does help to have someone who's gonna negotiate the best price in your corner. And that's what we're going to do for you. We have a great relationship with DR Horton, so let us know because their prices, promotions, lender incentives, they change all the time. And we stay up to date, so just give Michonne a call. Oh, this is so cool. This home is decorated so cute. Okay, so right when you come into the left, this is truly an office because there is no closet. So this is, I love this. How cute. That's way cool. Oh my gosh, so cute. And I love the matte navy that they painted this wall so they're using this room as an office that face it oh look at this desk how cool uh, it looks like it's got those concrete towers with yeah. glass so that this office faces the front of the home this is some cool funky wallpaper as you walk in what's behind that door door number one. Oh. what is behind door number one so under the stair storage, which is nice to have it wraps around a little bit. Cleanest still ever look is right now. Yeah. And then we'll go check out the upstairs in a little bit. We actually had some clients purchase this exact plan. So I didn't get to see it furnished. So let's check it out. We've got a powder bath right here. Nice pedestal sink, cool decor. And then our open concept family room and kitchen area is quite spacious. Nice large center island and the dining area can fit any size table. It's and all the large windows. I really like this one. Single bay sink. Soft clothes. You got the soft clothes? Yeah. Yes. And check out this pantry. That is a proper pantry indeed. Yeah. Okay. And I really like this. This fridge freezer combo. Mm hmm. And look at all the counter space. Like, this is a really good sized kitchen. Yeah, this, I feel like this is a pretty big step up in terms of just overall features in this plan. Like it, it feels like a significantly bigger home. Yeah. Now, one thing that I want to point out too, to our viewers is having windows on multiple sides of the room, meaning not just all windows south, not just all windows east or not just all windows north, but having these three windows and bringing the light into this room from these angles really makes it a pleasant environment that's well lit. The oh, another smart feature that all these homes come with yeah. is the alarm. Yeah, and so the front door and the garage door, the like keyhole, like that's a smart feature. The thermostat, it comes with an Amazon Echo. Smart lock, smart door opener, uh, smart thermostat, Amazon Echo. Light switches, the outlets. Got some good covered patio space. Some pavers. The turf, pretty good sized backyard. I think it's a point two acre maybe. You know, it's kind of funny. A lot of people call us and they say, well, you're out there in a desert, you know, I want to get some acreage. Unfortunately, unless you're prepared to pay a substantial amount of money per every acre, this is kind of standard. Like I would say between this and about a quarter acre lot. So this is what a pretty normal by 2024 standards Southern Utah backyard looks like, especially in this price range. What do you guys think about that? Are you used to living on 40 acres with no walls? Or do you feel like having a smaller lot that is easier to maintain is much better than having acres to worry about? 
Where are you taking us? Let's see. Got our mudroom, it's pretty nice and big. Storage closet, coat closet, cleaning closet. And our, so yeah, these these are smart as well. Really? Uh-huh. Because we have, um, our clients have bought one, they had to reprogram it. So, oh, wow. Yeah, kind of cool. This one's got a little step up. And this two car feels it's like a, bigger. So this, is this considered a three car or like a tandem? Like, is this a tandem three? Oh yeah. No, I think this is still considered technically a two, like a two and a half car. Because this plan could also be built with a three car where yep. the third bay is just on the side. Because even on their like pictures, their actual three car like have a third bay. So. Yes, exactly. But that's way nice to have. And again, elevations, you could have three different options, whether you prefer modern Scandinavian or a modern farmhouse. That's for the golf cart. Yeah. Yeah, in a community like this, having a golf cart might be a good idea just because you're steps away from all of the HOA amenities that we showed you guys earlier. And sometimes you just don't want to drive your car, so you take the golf cart. But depending on where the home's located, like obviously right here, you can just walk there. We've got a basketball court. We've got full tennis. Is it our pickleball courts right there? The possibility of a splash pad or a playground. They're still waiting on full approval, but that's what it's planning to be right now. But yeah, the amenities here are awesome. So this plan has a loft right up here, which is pretty nice. Cool little lounge setup. Decorated super cute. Love these plants. Another storage linen closet. And our laundry room. Pop in here real quick. So you've got room for side by side washer and dryer with some shelving up above. It looks like this is our primary bedroom, faces the front of the home. They've got some cool wallpaper, kind of modern looking. The tray ceiling and they have that capped off so you can add a fan you can add a fan fixture right above the bed if you're one of the people that can't sleep without the fan on i personally struggle to sleep with the fan on what team are you guys in do you like the fan on when i you like sleep? all fans in the house on low to circulate the air i feel but like not enough to like dry out your throat when you're sleeping i feel like if i'm sleeping and the fans on it like trips my sensors i feel like somebody's in the room watching me so a lot of our clients do prefer to have shower tubs separate. So we've got a large soaking tub right here, double vanity, a walk-in shower. Huge. That's a nice touch. It's kind of an oversized water closet, nice. All sorts of room for activities. And then since you're trading that extra like storage space that we see in the other homes for just one large, great. It's a great closet. size closet. Yeah. And go walk around here. We've got some built-in shelving. Which oh, is I nice. see it. You see it? Okay. All right. And that's kind of nice think? to have this bedroom separated from the other bedrooms. And it looks like we've got a full bathroom right here. And that's nice with you know, kids, some can be getting ready and then this ha will have a door. And you've got your single sink if somebody wants to brush their teeth while somebody's showering or doing other things. Okay. Let's check out bedroom number two. So that's nice. It's a full four bedroom with an office. It's awesome. Let's see the size of this closet. Let's just take a look. Is it a pretty good size? Good size. It's a good size. It's a good size closet. Okay. I would have. I'd probably have to add a little bit more built-in shelving on the bottom. Okay. And then we have bedroom number three with probably the same size closet. These I'm lamps look pretty cool. Oh. Oh, it's a really good size closet. <laughs> 
Okay. Swear we're not obsessed with closets. Okay, and then we have, oh, oh, cute. Our fourth bedroom. Cute wallpaper, got a closet behind this. It's a good size. Okay. What do you guys think? And they have more plans than this, than what we've shown you today. So yeah, we just wanted to show you guys all of the plans that were decorated, cleaned, and ready to go. So all of these are models. This builder has quite a bit of standing inventory, as well as phases of this subdivision that are still expanding and growing. So reach out to us. Let us know if you're interested in any of these plans, what your budget is, and we'll let you know what's available and what you can get for your budget. And we'd love to hear from you. This right here could be your office. So if you're still sitting on a fence, I feel that DR Horton has some really great options in Lawn Valley community. There are so many plans to choose from. To satisfy our compliance, I do have to tell you guys, none of these listings are our listings. They're brought to you by DR Horton. I would like to thank the developer for giving us an opportunity to tour these homes today. However, we would absolutely love to represent you as a buyer if you're thinking about going anywhere in Southern Utah and perhaps if this Long Valley Dare Horton community is something that you see yourself and your family living in, reach out to us. We will be able to negotiate the best deal possible and we'll be able to supply you with the most recent lender promotions, builder credits, all of these incentives. They have so many different promotions going on. So don't, don't be afraid to give us a call, even if you're just curious about what is the current deal that is offered in this community, regardless of when you're watching this video. This video is being produced around September of 2024. And like I said, these promotions change all the time. You could enter into this community in the low 300s, go up to about mid 600s, depending on what it is that you want. You're really close to recreation. You have so many amenities that feel resort-like within this community. And if you're, even if you're looking for more parking and a place to store your toys and your RV, this community features that as well. If you have any questions to anything St. George related, please give us a call. And until the next one.